Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Fixing with Friends. I'm your host, that guy you know, and today is a special day because we're going to celebrate the first year of Fixing with Friends. Today, we're going to be helping out Danish. Start out easy and just do all change. Hydration is very important. It's on. Yay. Well, what are the chances? Huh. Yep. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to look at it. Uh, the other thing we didn't mention before. I'll insert this at a random point so it doesn't matter. So before we put the oil in, it's uh, 5W20, which we've already bought. Had to run inside to grab a Robertson. Someone decided to screw things up. Forgive me, I'm just going to fondle this rack for a bit. Some of you want me to stop the puns. That's too damn bad. What is Fixing with Friends? Well, myself and many people I know, friends, if you will. With the amount of work we do on cars, we figured we might as well film it. If you guys want to watch it, great. If you don't like it, well, that's just too damn bad. It's been one year since our first episode was uploaded to YouTube. A couple years since we actually started filming, but that's a different story, and let's not talk about that. So now we're going to do a little bit of a spotlight that I had intended to include in each episode that my friends were in, but for various reasons were unable to at the time. Hey, I'm Michael. My name is Amanda. My name is Danish. Uh, I'm a longtime friend, though I only showed up in a, a couple episodes a, a while back working on the Datsun. I think maybe working on a, on a heater core. I was only in one episode. I was in changing and installing tires for the Volvo XC70. And I believe the second video where we showed how to do an oil change on a Dodge Avenger. So I've got three cars right now. Uh, I've got my 84 GSL RX-7. Uh, I've got a 1985 GSL SE RX-7, which is my, uh, my rally car. Uh, and then for my daily driver, I've got a 2003 Golf with the TDI engine. It's my little, uh, my little tractor to run around town. I only own one car, but I drive a 2006 Mazda 3. So currently I own a 2009 Dodge Avenger SXT. Actually, these three cars are, are three of the four cars I've ever owned. Um, the only one I owned before that was a, uh, an Oldsmobile Intrigue which was a, uh, a, a solid, reliable, comfortable car to drive around in, uh, but ended up not really being my, uh, my speed compared to once I got the uh, Golf. So the cars I've owned in the past were a 2002 Chevy Cavalier. That was my first car. I had a 91 Honda Civic, 
I had a, it was either a 2006 or 2008, I don't remember, uh, Buick Park Avenue, and I had a 2007, I want to say, um, Volkswagen Beetle. Prior to owning my Dodge, I used to have a 2000 Toyota Corolla. Uh, for a dream car, honestly, I'm, I'm sort of pretty weird and down to earth. Uh, for a dream car, I'd probably take one of my uh, first gen RX-7s with a, uh, a late generation twin turbo RX-7 engine in it. Um, maybe maybe a, a Mark II Ford Escort imported from the UK. Um, as my, uh, my favorite rally car of all time. Uh, and if I just had it like an irresponsible amount of money, I might look at a, uh, a an air-cooled, uh, Porsche, but, uh, I don't know. I, I can't see myself driving that too much. My dream car? I don't actually know the model of it. However, I do know it would be something sporty. It would be black. It would be manual transmission with heated seats. Uh, if I could be confused for a member of the Fast and the Furious gang, I think that would be my dream. My dream car would be, it's, I think, Audi RS7. Very beautiful car in my opinion, uh, but not there yet in terms of purchasing it. Uh, I don't exactly know how experienced I'd call myself. I don't feel very experienced. Um, but I do do all my own work on my cars, so I guess I've had to learn something. Um, I've been through replacing suspensions, uh, replacing clutches, doing timing belts, head gaskets, so I guess I'd say I'm moderately experienced. So my current knowledge base um, for fixing cars is basically nothing. I can change my tires, I can check my oil, um, I can refill fluids, uh, I'm sure I could change my windshield wipers if I gave it a good college try. But to be honest, I'm just really nervous about breaking something expensive, so I don't really try to do very much. So my level of experience working with cars is very beginner, uh, in my opinion. I am still trying to learn a few things here and there in terms of, uh, you know, some of the nitty gritty things. Uh, but for example, doing an oil change is not what I'm comfortable doing by myself. Probably uh, whatever I need to fix whatever breaks next on one of the cars. Um, but uh, something that I would actually like to learn to do, um, I, I mentioned my uh, my dream is to to drop a different engine into one of these. So I'd, I'd love to get the uh, the experience on how to um, do a swap a, a turbo two engine into one of these. Um, I feel like that would that would really be like a whole new level in terms of. Uh, skill and, and knowledge I'd need for that. I would like to learn more things. Um, if I could learn how to change my oil, that would be great. And I'd like to learn how to um, fix my brakes. I'm pretty sure currently my rotors are going and I know for sure my e-brake needs to be fixed. So I think that's next on the agenda. In terms of learning new things, I would like to continue and grow my knowledge in maintenance side of the cars because I love doing maintenance on my own car and knowing that I'm putting the best in my own car and kind of increasing the life overall because I'm taking time to do my car maintenance myself. Although, because of the circumstances of this last year, we haven't been able to have as many friends on as we initially intended, so we instead focused on more of the filler content. Thank you for participating and helping out when you were able to. It was great to have you guys on. So, to use this video as a bit of a milestone, let's take a look at what this year looked like for us. We uploaded a total of 35 videos, 26 of which actual episodes. I don't know if I'm going to put something here or if I'm just going to be waving my hands at it. We gained, I'm hoping, 60 by the time this video is up, if not 59 subscribers, and we had a total of 6,400 views. So the most watched video used to be the oil change for the better part of the year, and then things shuffled up a lot in the last few months. So right now, the most watched video is actually the Vacuum Leak Short with over 700 views, I believe, and that's just because shorts are broken. But hey, but the most watched full episode was actually the dash removal video. With 12 likes, our most liked video is the oil change video. 
Now there are two tied for second most liked videos, and they both have 11. The Vacuum Leak Short, not really a surprise there since it has the most views, and the Heater Valve Refurbishment video. We managed to get a decent amount of work done in the last year, but we also encountered a number of challenges. The first one being that we got a whole bunch of fraudulent copyright claims kind of at the start, and that really impacted the video's performance. The performance we don't really care about, as we said, we're making them regardless, but that's just because a lot of these... There are a lot of digital rights companies these days, and they use automated software. And so they will go out and automatically claim anything that they have rights to. Or, what also happened was they claim things they didn't have rights to because they thought they did because they had the same title. Robot problems. Basically everyone on YouTube has to deal with it, and that's... YouTube needs to get a handle on that because... It was, Illegal as it is to use copyrighted material improperly, it's also illegal to claim ownership to things that you don't own, or to abuse the copyright system when someone is in fact using it legally. But I really feel bad for the people who actually made the music content, because it's their stuff, and then they have to deal with YouTube and try and make appeals to regain ownership of something they made. Um, anyway, so we dealt with that. We haven't really had any problems since because we've tried to avoid using those. The next challenge we ran into was the terms of service changes YouTube put in place back in, I can't remember, last fall anyway. Um, and that made, really made us question whether or not we want to continue making videos for the platform because it basically said they're allowed to monetize all of anyone's videos who use the platform. And we have a video about that, so I won't go into many details, but ultimately we decided that we're going to continue putting videos on the platform until those ads come up, and then at that point maybe we'll leave clips here, uh, and then send you to another platform. So the videos will still be available for you to watch, and that's really what's important to us, is if you guys want to watch them, that they be available regardless of how many people are watching. But if we can get to a thousand subscribers, hopefully we can put all that off for a little bit longer. And then on top of that, we also had the hard drive issues where hours and hours of video footage uh, was erased, and then we managed to recover some of it, but the quality dropped a little bit, and then there's also, like... I don't know what's missing, but stuff is missing. So hopefully that doesn't impact things too much, but uh, we've resolved the problem now, and there's many alternative hard drives it's being stored on. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen again. So then, obviously, some of the, there were some of the challenges last year with just being able to meet up with other friends and have people come and work on the vehicles. We weren't able to do that nearly as much as we had intended, and when we were, we were usually press for time, so we didn't actually end up filming while we were doing it, but hopefully this year will be better for that. And then mostly, it was just time. It takes a lot of time. Uh, mostly just time. Time. So much time. But we found some, but we found some methods along the way to cut down the production time of the videos. So what can you guys expect from us for the next year? Well, for those of you following along, there's going to be the $300 painting adventure, which is probably not the title I'm running with. Um, suggest alternate titles below and like the video if you haven't liked it already. And that's just going to be a series on painting the Datsun with cheap trem clad paint. So you guys get to go on the whole trip with me pull, when I'm pulling things apart, putting things back together, painting, and see how it is a year later. Then we're going to finish up the rehabilitation of the Mustang and see how selling it goes. Maybe we can make a profit. Maybe we can at least break even. Otherwise, at least maybe we can get some of our money back. If things either go well or very poorly, <laughs> there will be some videos on working on the Oldsmobile. And lastly, hopefully more videos with actual friends. Because do people exist? I don't know. I live inside this tiny box. So, Thanks for being with us this last year, and hope you enjoy the next one.